since the beginning of time people in many countries have been making efforts to know about future events. As well as the poor and the uneducated lay people, the royal family and learned intellectuals tried to glimpse the future. Astrologers, astrologers, soothsayers, augurs, astrologers, etc. have proliferated in educated, civilized and better societies. Similarly, there have been those who doubted the truth of astrology and condemned the art itself. Such a struggle often arose in the heart of Ilay Apiratha Kundave, the best manga er to lay for knowledge. Yet whenever he had to worry about the future of the Chola Empire, that worry made Kundave Devi seek out the soothsayer's house. To be fair, Kundave's soul should now have the same peace of mind that Emperor Sundara Chola had. Unexpected events took place, and Aralmas Hivarmar's coronation was certain. From childhood we know Kundave's boundless desire for his younger brother. She had a strong belief that Aralmas Hivarman, who was born with conch and wheel lines in his arms, would reach the end of the Chola Empire. The incident where a person who had fallen in the Kaveri flood was rescued by a lady who came like a goddess and many other such incidents strengthened her faith. The time for that hope to come true was now at hand. Just like what was said about Aralmas Hivarman, many people used to say about the Jataka Vaisha of Kajumbalar Princess Vanathi. I don't know if they said it because they truly analyzed tomorrow and the planet and realized the future, or if they said that Kundave Devi should be good at that time. We see that the promise made by many as one face sometimes becomes miraculously true. Still others have something special about their voice. What they say works. The astrologer, who came to Tiravayara from Kudantai and settled down, remembered that it was Tiravadhirai day in the month of Margazi and said, it is a day that will bring great glory to the Chola clan. He said that a bit emphatically. Two years later, a boy was born to the Chola clan at Tiravadhirai in the same Margazi. When the child grew up and matured, he became an emperor comparable to Chandragupta, Ashoka, Vikramaditya and Harshavardhana. Taking the anointed name of Irayendran, he ruled from Sri Lanka to the Ganges, from Lakshadweep to Sriavijaya Island. The astrologer's word has thus miraculously backfired. But when he said that on that day, Kundave did not fully believe in it. Venatico's astrologer's words made him angry. There was a way to show that anger immediately. The astrologer picked up the trace and threw it on the female cat and said, Astrology is useful too. She said. Hearing that, the astrologer looked back and knew what the matter was, Princess. They call the mighty a weapon of grass. Likewise, this grasshopper also saved a life due to the glory of its twisted hand. Isn't it a flower hand that will save so many lives in the future? Said. Vanatha's sister. This astrologer is very good at flattery. Let's go. She said. Goddess. They don't like what I say today. All that I once said will come true. Then don't forget this poor man. Said the astrologer. Kuntave Brady interrupted, Sir. This woman does not like their words. She is happy in her heart to listen. But she rages, have we taken a vow without thinking? She shows that rage on their footprints. Never mind that. She said. The wrath of the good will bring good results. Did not my lovely parrot survive who called himself with sweet language? Said the astrologer. Then Kundave was talking to the astrologer for some more time. Mainly she asked Aralmas Hivarma when the marriage will take place. The younger bratty Crouch had reason to worry about that. Because yesterday the military commander Buthivikrama Kesari came to the younger Prati and said, Mother. I am going to Kajumbalur. Can't I take my brother's daughter Vanatha with me? He asked. Kuntava was startled, Uncle. What's the rush? Are you going to be absent for the baptism? She said. Mother. I will come at the consecration. Why wait here till then? I came with a great army when I came. Ungodly, our desire to fight has been fulfilled for nothing. The emperor's son has consented to the crown. All the princes have agreed to it. There is no need to keep such a large army here anymore. No. 
it has become difficult for the city of Tanjore to feed and manage so many people. Therefore, it has become necessary to take my army and leave it here and there. Said the commander. Do so. But why should you take my friend Venati? Kundave asked. We have unanimously decided yesterday that those who will be crowned as emperors of this Chola Empire should take women from many minor royal clans like Emperor Parantaka and Aaron Jayadeva. After the coronation ceremony of Pani's Selvara, we intend to make such an application to him. Can you guess why I want to take Venati to town? If I leave her here, others may suspect that I am going against the treaty, said Kajum Balarvelar. Can you guess why I want to take Venati to town? If I leave her here, others may suspect that I am going against the treaty, said Kajum Balarvelar. Can you guess why I want to take Venati to town? If I leave her here, others may suspect that I am going against the treaty, said Kajum Balarvelar. Hearing this, Kundeva was very angry. She did not reveal it and said, Commander. You once asked me to be both father and mother to their fatherless younger daughter. Have you forgotten that? I cannot send Vanatha to Kajumbalar. I cannot be separated from her even for a moment. If I have to, I will take Vanathi and go to Palyera. For the coronation ceremony. Let's stay there without even coming. Let's not talk about the wedding now. After the consecration, tell the little prince's wishes to Pani's Selvar. We can take care of it later. She said. The general also agreed to it and went away. This became one more reason why Kundave Devi sought out an astrologer. That is why she asked the astrologer so worried about Bonnie's Selvers' marriage. At the same time Venati's memory went to an old incident. A bird and a cat were also characters. An elephant and a baby elephant were involved along with the cat. The wild cat attacked a bird's nest hanging from a tree branch and tried to steal the chicks from it. The mother bird came around the nest and tried to stop the cat. Venati screamed helplessly at that. A young man who was swimming in the river came running to see him. Then he hurried and mounted an elephant. He saved the bird cage and the chicks from the mouth of the wild cat. Venati then assumed that the young man was an elephant. Later it became known that he was Pawnee's rich man. Aha! Uh -huh. Shouldn't he have been just an elephant? Or shouldn't he have been an ordinary hero? Was it because he was the son of the Sundara Chola Emperor that he was subjected to such troubles? Friends who resembled her and people like Pungazali had to slander me that she had false intentions and wanted to be a Chola graduate. While Venati was engaged in such reminiscences and asking the astrologer about Kundave's future, the door of the astrologer's door was called Do You Want a Chinese Blanket? A Chinese Blanket. A loud voice was heard, other voices were heard. Kunta and Venati woke up realizing that it was time for them to come. Then the astrologer's disciple came in and said, Swami. Two Chinese traders have come. We want to ask them for astrology. Shall we ask them to come tomorrow? He asked. Kuntave said, no. Let him come now, we are saying goodbye and took Vanatha's hand and left. When the two princesses arrived at the door, they saw an elephant standing there and on top of it sat two Chinese merchants with large bundles of cloth. The Chinese traders seemed to be asking something from the elephant standing below. Without paying much attention to them, the princesses took the knight who had come with them and went to the Chola mansion.